Hello and welcome, this is your Funky Onky with Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Line Episode 84. In this one, we got a new party member, and we're here to deliver the goods. And I am so close to leveling, it hurts. I'm just so glad that I'm a Reaver now. I've been wanting to get that since I hit level 7. Oh, and I'm afraid to say that you're going to be here in a lawnmower here in a little while, but it's way too fucking hot for me to go inside. Go. Huh. Ban. You return. Might you have news? I found the. Oh, yeah. No, enough screwing around. I found the urn. You have. Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. I think it's working. Yeah, I'd say that's it working. Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He... he is dead. Connor is dead. Dead? Then it was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. Fade to black. Or fade to a fucking loading screen. Uh, oh, that was quick. This is most troubling. Yeah, no shit. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, I know you did what you had to. I grieve for my son. But I believe that had you not acted as you did, it might have been far worse. Yep. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? If you like, I won't object. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. Man! You will always be a welcome guest. What is some material? Walls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that Man! have been given Man! I don't use shields! Gift. There's much else to do now. Indeed. We have no way of knowing what Loghain will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. Bullshit. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Kalen to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. Oh, I was looking forward to meeting him on the battlefield. You would not walk away from that meeting unscathed. The Darkspawn slaughtered Kalen's forces, not Loghain's. <laughs> I need to put some he armor on him. He has strength we cannot hope to match. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn.
faith in everything I've done is for nothing? No, not at all. Logan is responsible for heinous crimes, and I intend to see him pay. But our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Logain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Logain's allies pause. But we must combine it with a challenge Logain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Logain's daughter, the Queen. Alistair. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative. But the unthinkable has occurred. Are you saying Alistair is related to Kaelin? You don't know? I uh, meant to tell you when we were approaching Redcliffe, but... Um... Alistair is King Merrick's illegitimate son. He is Kaelin's half-brother and has a claim to Ferelden's throne. That explains a lot. How fortuitous he survives o survived Ostagar. I imagine Duncan kept Alistair out of the battle for this very reason. I never thought it would come to this. When Caelan got married, everyone thought it was best to just have me step aside. It was a relief, actually. I don't want to be king. I never did. Even when Caelan died, I, I guess I hoped that something else would present itself. You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. What are my options? You still have allies to seek out to help us against the Darkspawn. I can hold off traveling to Denerim until you are ready. But the Landsmeet is our only option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain. But even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? Damn it. No, but neither would Loghain. Fucking hand Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude. That everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him so that he leads us against the Horde. Wouldn't it be s easier to simply kill him? I'm not sure that would help our cause. We would become the criminals, and our accusations would become excuses. Damn it. Furthermore, I'm not even certain where Logan might be. What's stopping him from just attacking Redcliffe? Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a landsmeet, refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. Do you think this landsmeet idea will work? That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the landsmeet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king, who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. What about the Darkspawn? Because there's no way we're supporting Logan. Ferelden must stand united to defeat the Darkspawn. I was just getting my A fight fractured dunk. nation will not defeat the Blight, even given my army and those gathered with your treaties. Seems we have little choice. Very well. I will send out the word. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the Landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. Well, all right. I have to say, I think that that is that that's a good time. This is a good place to end this. This has been your Funky Honky with the Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Blind. Well, let's level up first real quick. Actually, yeah, no. Boom, boom. Bop, bow. Oh, I 
like that! Oh, wait, and... Oh, I get two! I can't do any of those, so I guess it's time to finally get precise strike. Anyways, stay tuned for the next one where we will head to Ostagar or the Dalish Elves or the Circle of Mages. Well, actually, no, we're going to go back to the city to clean up that one junk that I left behind. I hope you'll see me then.